Yeah, it's not going to stick either. I don't go nowhere. Excellent, eh? Job done. Just drilled a um, hole saw so I can get the Starlink cable down. This is what uh, the caravan's made of. Very thin bit of fiberglass. This is the floor. Maybe the walls are a bit thicker of the fiberglass. I'm not sure. But thin fiberglass and a lot of solid foam in the middle. Good insulation. Pretty strong too. Fifty mil hole. Uh, just like a big bung plug. Actually, I got one for top and bottom. Starlink cable will go through that easy. Just pop that one on the top there, and one on the bottom, and uh, sicker flex all around the bo bottom one. And then I can put this. Has got a o-ring around the bung plug so it'll be watertight from underneath when I'm not using it that's the game plan so under here I've put in a 50 mil there it is just screw straight out it's got a washer so it's fully watertight and sealed that's a uh, out of a boat and then in here, it just looks like that. So we just feed all the cable down the hole, and that's pretty much us. So today, we're going to have a go at putting up the Starlink now that I've got it all sorted, hopefully, fingers crossed. So, first job is, we'll take this little pin out of here, in there. Now we get the cable. Just screw straight out. It's got a washer so it's fully watertight and sealed. That's uh, out of a boat. And then in here it just looks like that. So we just feed all the cable down the hole and that's pretty much us. So, and then just to stop any uh, vermin coming in, I've just got a bit of pool noodle. And we'll just stuff it in the hole. Sorted. Close her up. And that's it. Take this around here. Pop it in there. It's the dish. Grab the pole with the fitting in the end. Slip it straight on. Hopefully you can still see all this. Point him up the sky. Drop him in the hole. Now this stays, that bit there stays permanently on. Grab your pin. Pop him in there. Can't, can't blow off. Um, undo this. Lift her up a bit. If you need to height, go her up. Go up to there. There we have it. All set up, ready to go. And this cable I've run through inside. Excuse the mess, it's still a bit messy in here, still in the setup stages, but it comes up the corner there and across. And I've got a little shelf there where that sits. And then here. So I've got a 500 watt. Uh, inverter just for this and maybe a few other things things that don't draw much power that's the button for it there 
and it's plugged in there the uh, router so all I've got to do is hit that click that power point on and then we have Wi-Fi and the TV clips here and the TV can connect to that Wi-Fi so ready to go you might have noticed the beds aren't made but uh, priorities got this sorted first yeah pretty easy setup this is just um, a bit of pipe and a couple of u-brackets got my mate Nathan to weld them on for me so it can't slide off and uh, that's there permanent now up nice and high above the roof of the van so it should be good and I probably should mention um, I've still got the full length of cable there however many meters it was a lot of meters and the uh, portable base for the dish so I can if I'm parked under trees I can still run it out across the paddock a bit and uh, put it well away from the van so I've got options always good to have options <laughs> Grab this pole I made. It's like a, a bull float, bull float for concreters. And I just um, got this little fitting off eBay. That plugs straight into the end here. Except we have to put the cable in first. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> 